Lighthouse Christian Center is a house of worship in the state of Washington that we've worked with for, uh, if not 10 years, very, very close to 10 years. I'm Lee Barker, and for 12 years, I served as technical director for Lighthouse Christian Center. My responsibilities included the systems of the media departments, lighting, audio, video, broadcasting, information technology, and a substantial virtualized server environment. Lee was a one-man IT shop and they really saw that the, the church itself was growing, which was a great thing. And so a lot of those early conversations I know centered around, one, getting the infrastructure in a place where it was secure, stable, and that it was brought up to just the current best practices, but also then really starting to seriously look at our staff helping to supplement Lee on that ongoing support. Lighthouse reached the point where it was compelled to radically expand its IT support. And it recognized the unique combination of leadership, skill sets, and cost savings that are embodied in CCB. So we had started planning to replace their SAN, uh, to replace their servers and, and their switches, and so we had started this process to plan their environment. And then everything went sideways and their uh, SAN died. And so my involvement then with Lee was to basically rebuild all of that from scratch. I watched that guy spend hour after hour with me on the phone, remoted in, getting things up and running. That's it's a testimony of character, and that's what this guy brought. You see uh, a lot of um, people's genuine personality when you work at 12 o'clock in the morning uh, at midnight. We had, we had a lot of really good laughs. We had a lot of really good, um, just deep conversation um, with stuff as you're waiting for a server to finish loading or stuff to rebuild. When Lee was looking for different types of MSP organizations to work with, much of what he was looking for were like-minded people. People who came in with that servanthood type mentality to deliver that with an excellence that really then shone through. Logan's leadership and his hand in projects or his footprint on projects have been pretty invisible because what we've experienced is just a seamless delivery. I see the relief that Lighthouse staff have knowing that they have a helping partner. You know, today Lighthouse staff work more efficiently than ever before with little to no downtime. That maximizes the investment that Lighthouse makes. For us, one of the wonderful things of working with Lighthouse is we've been able to have a hand in pretty much every aspect of their environment. And, and for clients, it varies. Sometimes we do very specific things or we might do a project and then we're done. But with Lighthouse, we've done a number of projects that's touched pretty much every aspect of their environment, and then we've also managed it from an ongoing basis. One of the really great things is we've been able to help put Lighthouse in a position where they have room to grow, um, which is really what they're wanting long-term overall as well, because they, they just built a second building, it was about a year or two ago, we did a lot of tech refresh and implementation there to help with that expansion, as well as make sure that the back-end infrastructure was already set and stable, and where it needed to be to help support that whole new environment that they've got. The people of CCB have worked with us through each stage of bringing Lighthouse on board. There are very few support partners who do what they say they will. CCB is true to its word. They deliver as promised. CCB has been a helping hand alongside of us, partnering with us in business in our mission over all of these years. When it's all said and done, CCB is in the people business first. All the products, all the platforms, all the programs, these things exist to support people. This is what sets CCB apart, and it's leadership that has fostered that culture here. Keep it about the people. Keep it about the relationships. 